Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are welcome to our channel. Today it's a music week and everything revolves around music. Welcome. Today we are doing melodic intervals. Now I know teachers uh, across the country are having problems teaching intervals, especially for junior secondary school. And today I have decided to guide and give a little bit of direction on how we can teach intervals. Now, first of all, we need to identify that melodic interval is the distance in pitch between a note and a next note. So, for example, if you are playing a keyboard, if you press C and D, that is what we call a melodic interval because we want to understand okay after you press note C on the keyboard and then you press D on the same keyboard what distance in pitch have you created so that is the first thing the second thing I want to tell uh, uh, my viewers about interval is that interval is the distance between the, the, the notes and of course the melodic interval is different from harmonic interval. We shall talk about harmonic interval in the next videos. But for melodic interval, learners should just realize that you press one note and then you press the next one as you play the keyboard. But for harmonic interval, you press simultaneously and that is a different story altogether. So the first thing you do like for example, if you want to teach interval, let us use the uh, diatonic scale of C major where we already know that between the third and fourth and between the seventh and eighth on a diatonic scale, we, shall, we already have semitones. So the first thing you need to teach them that between the first note and the second note on the C major scale there is a tone. There is a tone, there is a semitone, there is a tone, there is a tone, there is a tone and a semitone. That is very important. So that when we want to teach them about the interval, they already know that between the first note and the second note, there is a tone. But if supposing you are teaching them the interval between E and F, they already know there is a semitone. It is important to note that when we are teaching melodic interval, the distance in interval, we use semitones to calculate the distance between notes. For example, if you want to teach learners the interval between, for example, C and D, one, you will teach them that between C and D, there are two alphabets, and there is no other in, uh, alphabet in between here. So. We shall start, because this is one and two, we shall start, we shall call it a second. That's the first thing. And then we want to calculate, we want to look at the scale and see how many semitones do we have between C and D. Now, we will come back here. Now, between C and D, there is a tone. And of course, when we have one tone, it gives us two semitones. So, this one between C and D, it is a second, but it has two semitones. Now, these two semitones now qualify this one to become a, a, a second, but it is a major second. Now, let me take you to this chart before I continue. Now, for, for, for the first, for the lower basic level, we have what we call a unison. When you press a note and the same note, you create a unison. There is no distance. You, you haven't moved anything. But when you move from a note to another, that is a second. So we have a second that is minor and a second that is major. A second that is minor has one semitone. A second that is major has two semitones. And then there is a third. A third can be minor with three semitones or major with 
for semitones. So for this case, we already have seen that between C and D, it is a one ton which gives two semitones. So between C and D, you can say between C and D we have two semitones, therefore it, be, it qualifies to become it qualifies to become a major second. An example, let me give an example of a minor second, like between between E and F. Between E and F, we already have seen that it is a second because these are two uh, uh, letters, alphabetical letters. We shall call it a second. But because in between we already have a semitone, so it is one semitone in between E and F, then this one will become a minor second. Finally, before I, 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 I end the video, I want to talk about a major and a minor third. A minor third a minor third is when you calculate the number of semitones and you don't get four. If it is three, then we shall have it will be a minor third. For example, like for example, if I ask you to calculate the distance between D and F. Now between D and F, I'll write it as D, E, and then F. Between D and E, there is one tone. Between E and F, there is a semitone. So, if we have a, whole, a full tone here, then it means these are two semitones plus one tone. It is three semitones. So the distance, the interval between D and F are three semitones. Therefore, it becomes a minor second. A minor third, sorry. A major third would be an example like from F to A. Two semitones, two semitones, F to A is a major third. So, but it is important, before you teach them uh, the intervals, you already teach them the scale, the C major scale of the diatonic major scales, and then you already teach them how to generate the diatonic major scales, so that they know after C, we have G major scale, and after G, we have D major scale, and so on and so forth. That one will help them to understand that between the third and the fourth, seventh and eighth of our diatonic major scale, they are semitones. And if they are asked to calculate the distance in interval of any scale, they can comfortably do it because they already know where flats are supposed to be, and they use such sharps are supposed to be, or any accidental is supposed to be, and that will guide them in calculating interval. Otherwise, you cannot teach interval before you teach them the scale. It is easy to teach them interval when you have C major scale, because it, has, it doesn't have an accidental. But when you want to teach them using D major, it will become heavy, because they, they will be surprised to realize that there are sharps on F and C, and they may not be able to understand how sharps influence the distance of a given uh, a note and the neighboring note. Otherwise, I'll be providing next videos on interval. Thank you so much, viewers, for uh, following this channel. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm always Elpas Kaserua, you are CBC Master Facilitators uh, teacher. I'm so grateful for your time. If you have any question on how to teach interval, please make your comment on the channel and we shall be providing more information. Next time, same time, same channel. Bye-bye.